The Ramban points out at the beginning of his commentary on this week's parsha that the candelabra in the base of Migdash was a great nechama to console Aaron. And the Ramban says there's a remez in Ner Chanukah, the connection between Ner Sheva Migdash and Ner Chanukah. Ner Chanukah represents the light in the darkness. And this really leads us to the main point of this week's Haftorah from Zechariah Nov. Zerubavel was faced with so much opposition, so many challenges, so much adversity in building the Beis Hamikdash at the time of Ezra and Nehemiah. But at the end of the day, he was able to defeat his enemies. And why? Because of Bekoach Bechayel? No. Bekiim Beruch. And this is the Ruach Chaim, which the, always is identified as the Torah. The Torah's game, Chayenu, is the Ruach, the breath of life. All that vitality comes from the Torah. The message of the menorah is our own light, the menorah. The menorah, and especially the middle candle, represents that tzaddik, that Talmud Chacham, that Jewish leader, who's going to uplift and, get, and, and give the people a direction, give them hope, give them a sense of how to reach the Almighty God, he wrote to maybe his will, that we appreciate the menorah, the light of Torah that we have, and it should be, shall have us all when we ourselves are able to initiate and to promote the Torah wherever we go, it should be a Hashem, lo b'koach, lo b'chayel ki im, beruchi Hashem, ke'in yiratzon, amen. Thank you, and Shabbat Shalom.